Hello everyone, welcome to Campus Catalyst here on ATU TV. My name is Theodosia Agbovi. Today's discussion is going to be based on examination more practices, um, the issues associated with these practices um, where students involve themselves in. And we have in the studios the SRC Vice President and the Secretary who will be throwing more light on these um, topic. So stay with us right after this break, we will bring you more. Okay, so before we zoom into our discussions, I want to remind you that ATU Studio is open for any um, short courses you'd like to um, take in videography, photography, um, camera techniques and all, and even how to, I mean, sit and talk like the way I'm talking here. <laughs> we have all the programs um, lined up for you, so reach out to ATU Studios and then you will go through all this. So um, zooming into our discussions, I'll introduce to you the... Uh, SRC Vice President of Accra Technical University, and he is in the presence of His Excellency uh, Aurelius Fiadukbe yeah. and our Secretary, that is Honorable Zuleya uh, Abdul Sumed. I'm yes. not missing that name <laughs> this time around. Okay, so you're all welcome to Compass Catalyst. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Okay, this is the second time you're having them in our studios, and we are excited that you are here once again. Okay, yeah. so um, we are talking about examination more practices. Yeah. So uh, His Excellency, can you throw light on examination more practices? Okay, so examination more practice is any deliberate act or of wrongdoing okay. by a candidate that contradicts the exam examination rules governing the candidates. Okay. So when you indulge in any deliberate act in or outside the examination hall that contradicts the rules is examination more practice. More practices. Wow. And I'm sure lots of students have fallen victim to this and yes. oh, it is yes. it is serious. Okay, so uh Honorable Zuleha, can you tell us instances of more practices here on this campus? Oh yes, there have been several instances of more practice on our campus here. So currently last year, the more practice cases were about 88 candidates that what? we had. 88 candidates? Yes, 88. And from most of the cases, some were complaining they were late to the exams hall. That's why they brought in the foreign material. Some said they were rushing. So that's why they brought in their mobile phones, like all sort of excuses. Oh. And you could see most of them too were ignorant of the more practice rules and regulations. They were very ignorant about it. I okay. wouldn't say they are not aware of more practice. So yeah. uh, uh, what you're trying to say is that there are uh, anti more practice campaigns on this campus. Oh yes, there have been several more practice campaigns on campus. Since I got to ATU here, Level 100, there was a more practice campaign. Uh -huh. Level 200, there was. And definitely, we will be doing a more practice campaign, which and, which is coming next week. And you're saying students have seen all these campaigns, exactly. and yet 88 students fall victim to this yes. on this campus. Yes. This, this is serious, and I think we all need to uh, uh, take part in these campaigns and don't fall victim to these issues, seriously. So we'll bring in more discussions uh, right after this short break.
have to break. Okay, so uh, His Excellency, yeah. can you uh, tell me some measures that have been put in place to keep all these instances of more practices on this campus? Okay, so uh, previous administration do their best to do the same no to as a more practice campaign, but in our time we are putting a lot of measures in place. That is starting from today. Okay. Uh, that's what that's what brought us here. Okay. So studios. Okay. After year, there are a lot of preparation. Next week Monday will be uh, the launching and a seminar. Okay on say no to exam or practice and there will be dig dignitaries coming to talk to us why we sh why we should abstain for exam or practice and also uh, how we can learn effectively so okay. that we can acquire the knowledge that we one way or the other put in on paper or uh, the reason why we send the phone to class okay. to the exam rooms so we can abstain from all those things in the process of learning effectively Okay. and will be council because we are doing it in collaboration with the guidance and counseling co uh, committee mm -hmm. so we counsel for our wrongdoings uh, for the fears that we have for examination okay. because some people have fears when they are it's about to for sit for, for exam examination yeah. so these are the things that uh, make them to send the foreign materials to exam halls and not only that to prepare them enough so that okay. they can abstain from all these practices because they'll be taking through the examination rules or as well because i realize that a lot of a lot of students are ignorant of the examination rules and the penalty for each yes wow this <laughs> i don't know how to put this but this is very serious yes. okay yes. the fact that you as a student you know the the rules and regulations governing the fact that you don't have to send um, foreign materials to the exams hall, but you, you do it. Why do you do that? <laughs> I put it to you. Why do you do that? No, we need we need to stop. This is very serious. Yeah. Okay, so can you can you tell me the consequences of um, indulging or putting yourself into this examination board practice? Because uh, my badge, I mean, right now about eight to the sorry four students was sacked i mean they've been sacked they are not coming to class anymore oh, and it's because they were caught involving themselves in this more practice so what are some of the consequences when they okay. when they find you guilty of more practices with this with this we have hierarchies of punishment <laughs> yes that's how i would say it yeah. <laughs> so we have um from one caution okay to cancellation of exams paper okay three is rustication okay for withdrawal wait when you're talking about, when you talk about the caution you know we were in first year at that time when they rusticated so why were they not given the caution it depends, were rather it rusticated. depends on yeah. the actual more practice that the person was involved in oh okay you get me so let's say you are in first year mm -hmm. and what you did was um maybe the invigilator was trying to talk to you then you acted rude you disrespected the invigilator that one when you come will caution you and tell you that this is against the rules right. so don't do this again you are being cautioned mm. so that's that's, that's an example of a more practice okay. that you can be cautioned that is caution okay. but let's say you are in level 100 and mm -hmm. you are caught with a mobile phone in the exams hall okay we no. can't caution you can... <laughs> because we know right from shs ghs you have been taught about more practice you are aware of it and when you came to this school you were oriented so you have so, no excuses you have no excuse taking a mobile phone to the exam so you are fully aware it's okay, an act of a more practice so taking it there is has no excuse for you so such a person you will be either rusticated or your paper will be cancelled depends on the panel suggestion and the chairman of the committee hmm. what he suggests that's it if chairman says you're out of the school forever then that is it. you're out oh, of yes. the school forever. Yeah. No, are, are there um, instances like that where they tell oh, yes. you that that is the end of the route for you in that cutting kind of yes, yes there have been an instance what like is the that? level of more practice that person in okay Dutch so in? the level of more practice that person involved himself in was he was a guy and this person had um already prepared exams paper one where did you get the university's exams um answer booklet from <laughs> where wow. did you get it from 
and it was already prepared before everything you took it in. everything was intact so he was and just was, ready to replace. yes it was written in pencil mm. so he was just taking it in to refill Imagine. everything you he was asked and he was even remorse in addition I represent students on that committee okay. and I could plead for you on your behalf. Yes. So if if it was withdrawal, I could plead for rustication. So that one you go home, sit for a year, yeah. come back to continue your education. But this person in this person we are talking about didn't show any sign of remorse. He was not even he, he didn't he, act sober. Uh, he was even he more knew arrogant. What, he, he knew doing. what he did. Mm. He was arrogant, he he was not even replying to us how we expected him to talk so to us. he was just ready to go home. He was ready to go home. And mm. such a person, we won't, um, the chairman will not even be lenient with you. He will no. just go according to the laws and that's what will be done. Okay. So yeah. about the rustication, right? Yes. Um, there are instances where the students say, oh, I'm shy to come back because if I do, my friends are ahead of me. I can't, I can't do this. Don't you think it's, it's affecting their mental health and all of that as well because the fact that you've been rusticated your friends yes. are ahead of you and you coming back to the same university to continue your education must be draining so let's take it for from this instance where you are in level 200 mm -hmm. and you have to go home to sit for a year you know you won't come back to meet your colleagues by the time you will come back we are done with school so you will come and meet us so if you are if you are someone who is really into education, you will definitely come back to complete your schooling. Okay, so, okay, fine. I get that point. For HND students, I'll say yes, that. Yes, for HND but students. But for, for degree yeah. students, for degree students that, is, yes, that is high. Come, you will come and you meet, come and meet them. Yeah. Yes, but I will say that shouldn't scare you or that shouldn't um, make you stop your education. Mm. You should come back nonetheless. You are here for a purpose. Don't look at what others will say of you or what others think of you okay it's a mistake that happened and everyone is born to do a mistake yeah. so once you've learned from that mistake by sitting home for a year yeah i you think should be able to you do should the be right able, thing yes mm -hmm. to do the right thing and overcome your fears yes sure. yes okay his excellency can you tell me some key things that these students need to take note of before going into the examination hall because it is it is that serious i i saw one student um right beside me he brought the paper out to start i mean copying detail detail but on i mean he was so unlucky that like the invigilator was watching where we were sitting so unfortunately for him he was caught wow. and masticated yes yes yeah, so there are some key things that they must note okay uh, i'm reading it from there <laughs> in fact the, the the vice president is ready to give you all the yes. key oh, things yes. you must know because okay. it looks like they are ready for you today Th this is the rules listen and, this is the rules and regulation governing examination okay so uh in the section three point one it states it shall it shall be an offense for a student or candidate to involve in examination or test to sit an examination without student identification card mm. or examination seat number so meaning if you if you go to the exam hall mm -hmm. without your id card it's a more practice yes. and this is this is the penalty okay prevention or expulsion from the examination room and cancellation of relevant examination papers okay so the paper should be taken as a receipt. So exactly. another thing exactly. you should take note. Enter the examination hall or room later than half an hour mm -hmm. after the examination has started or has commenced. It's so that is uh, 30, 30 minutes, minutes after, after the examination has started. It's a more practice. And this is the slightest things that most of, of, of our students don't know. Mm -hmm. They are also more practice. Mm -hmm. We, wouldn't go, we, we don't even want to go into the big, big ones to even talk about them. But the slightest one that you might think is not anything, it's something. Something. For example, this ID card we are talking about. Yeah. Some, people, some of us don't take it serious. Seriously. We are like, oh, oh, when I go out, please they will allow me to enter. It's a more practice. You, some, some would say I can send my campus, uh, I campus form to... Yes. To show that it's so, not accepted. Okay. It's not accepted. It's not accepted. And that one, uh, they started reject. They will start rejecting it 
after uh, two weeks into the examination is it is stated in the rules two yes. weeks so two. so the first week of the examination it can it, be accepted yes. so you are given the time to go and search for your not, ID card. not to search you can't even replace it you, you can't can even replace one with that, yes within that a two, cost okay okay yes. yes so it comes at a cost of 50 cities 50 so cities within this how, I think it's less than that. It's less than that. It's less yeah. than that. But so we can, okay. we can, I mean, verify. Verify that. Okay. Yes. We'll verify so we that. that. So, uh, in addition to that, you see, one key thing that students must note is that when they refuse to uh, fill the more practice form mm -hmm. issued to them at the exam center, mm -hmm. it's also a more practice. Okay. That with that, you'll be rat <laughs> ratificated. Wow. Yes. And because. Uh, the reason why you you have to fill the more practice form is to state your reason why you are being issued the form okay yes. so when you state the reason and you appear before the panel you will go and explain yourself what happened and you you can be you, you can be uh pardoned. okay and i even want to throw more light on this okay pertaining this um more practice form you have to fill okay one student should know it is not a crime to fill the more practice form. It is not a crime. Student, listen, it is not a crime to, to fill, fill the more practice, more yes. practice form. form. It is not a crime. Yes. Though. See, there's one issue students really have with invigilators. Okay. And we are also telling you that don't let the invigilator intimidate you to write what you are what you didn't, you do, didn't do on the form. Okay. The form is served to you to write what you think actually happened, happened in the because home. we have so many instances where people come and they be like the investigator asked me to write this then there's <laughs> a no it's like you going to the police station and you're asked to write your statement mm. are you going to write what the policeman is asking you to Not write no write what you think happened when you write that when you come the panel are going to read your statement mm -hmm. In fact, we are even going to give you your own statement to read it yourself to the panel. Is that your handwriting? Do you write it yourself? Mm -hmm. Are you so it's yours? It's and yours. you'll be like, yes. Not now you are come to tell us that the invigilator <laughs> asked me to write this. We don't do that. So please, we want students to know it's not a crime okay. to write the statement and write what you think happened. You, not write what, what you think you yes, did. Mm -hmm. Not what the invigilator is accusing you of. Okay. Yes, that's right. what you want students to know. Okay, so uh, apart from the examination, uh, anti-examination campaign, or yeah, yeah. exactly, are there other measures that are being put in place? Because I want to know, some some will ignore the fact that, okay, there are campaigns. Some wouldn't even attend the seminar because, after all, oh, they always do it every year. We have exactly. seen it and all of that. So what are the, I mean, what are measures put in place apart from the, anti um, examination or practice campaign what are other measures that are being put in place okay so uh, as part of the preparation mm -hmm. we are going to do banners okay we are going to do flyers stickers so the stickers will be placed in each uh, exam hall so that when you enter the exam hall you will be able to read what is there what is there okay so that you have thing from it okay and also We'll do flyers that we'll share on social media. We'll mm -hmm. do videos of uh, sketch okay. that people will portray what happened in the exam hall, okay. and we'll share it on our social media handles. handles. Yeah. All right. Uh, don't you think technology needs to play a part in this? Because I know other universities have uh, cameras fixed in their exams hall, so even the the, the invigilators are not even needed in those halls because at the end of the day. If they catch you, camera, red-handed, what excuse do you have? Okay. Don't you think it's, it's about time that we put, they put, I mean, all it is in the pipeline that yes. all these things are going to be put in place. From Actually, the yes. Uh, from management, we advocated for this because, uh, because of theft cases also. Okay. So we advocated for uh, CCTV yes. cameras in the classroom and outside the classroom. Yes. Oh, so okay. it is in the pipeline, actually. All right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this has been an interesting conversation here uh, in the studios with the HRC Vice President and the Secretary. We will take a Welcome back from that break. So uh, before we wrap up, um, Vice President, uh, yeah. sorry, His Excellency, do you have anything you'd like to say to the students? 
Okay, so I'll say that uh, about the more practice campaign, it is starting on Monday. Say no to exam examination more practice. It is starting on Monday with a launching and a seminar. So with that seminar, you will be able to get vivid explanation of what examination more practice is. Okay. And also, let me let me keep this with you. Okay. So say no. Say no to examination more Say practice. Say no to examination more practice. The S is spread awareness. Spread awareness. The A is advocate honesty. Advocate honesty. <laughs> the Y is yield fairness. Yield fairness. Mm. And nature responsibility. And nature responsibility. And O, optimize success optimize access so say no is, to yes say no to exam of practice so exam that is practice. say no say no to yeah. exam of practice yes. yes when i was later what do you have to say okay i would like to tell my people my students my friends my sisters mm -hmm. my colleagues see i'm on the panel and mm -hmm. i know what goes on there mm -hmm. and sometimes it's teary mm. it's heartbreaking yeah like it's very heartbreaking even sometimes the chairman pities them the but nothing can be done and especially my fellow females colleagues mm -hmm. i'm pleading putting papers in your bras putting papers somewhere else mm. where you you come in there it's so embarrassing mm. i would like to plead with you we should abstain from exams more practice and we shouldn't indulge ourselves in them and for we students as general i know we have the fear when we are about to write exams yeah but please let's try as much as possible to learn and come and write it's better you feel and have a receipt than to, to be rusticated, to be rusticated yeah. for a year for a year it's, it's very it's serious it's hard time time has consumed you don't you've not done anything for a whole year you are in the house what will your parents say where the money where are we going to get the money from again that means instead of you spending three years as an hnd student you are spending four and as a btech student who is supposed to spend four you are spending five please we are begging you we are begging you now so that when you come to the panel there will be no begging. Whatever is in the rules and regulations is what will be dealt with. Okay. Yes, we are here for students and we will always be here for students. All right. All right. So uh, thank you all for joining in the discussion on examination more practice. Do not do it. Do not do it. As a student who is supposed to learn and write your exams, why are you doing that for? Don't do that. Okay, so this will bring us to the this brings us to the end of the discussion of today uh honorable zilea yeah. uh vice president we are glad that you came here to have this discussion with thank us thank you thank you so much we'll see you next time same time here on campus catalyst my name is theodosia agubi <laughs>